ladies and gentlemen, I'm Easy69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we have a brand new tier eight tank for you that is currently in the stores. Now, straight off the bat, I, I would I'm gonna say to you, uh, whatever I say about the tank, uh, it's not worth buying uh, because of course it is in crates now uh, i'm not a lover of tier 8 crates uh, crates i've said all along i don't think they should bring in crates they should just sell it you know just sell it for a change like they used to the good old days um so that aside you know it's not worth it don't go for it just wait until they come for sale for gold just wait uh, so as i've said so that aside let's talk about the tank the camp panzer 07 rh now my f initial thoughts on the tank is actually really, really good. To be fair, like, and it is a shame it's in crates because I kind of, I kind of like the tank. Now, this is with its legendary camouflage, Spooky. So, of course, it will change the name in game uh, to Camp Pan or KPZ 07 RH Spooky. Um, but yeah, I, it feels, it actually feels quite nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like overpowered or anything like that. It's just kind of balanced. Um, and the, the style of the tank, it's feels kind of like a tier 8 leopard um also it maybe feels like um a german comet or cromwell in tier 8 uh, but overall it it is really nice like you're not going to get many bounces the dpm isn't bad for what it is uh you can get troll bounces on that turret so 180 millimeters of turret armor uh, 100 on the sides and 100 on the hull as well now the dpm we are running this with calibrated shells so even with calibrated shells you've got 2447 dpm and that is not too bad if you want to run the rammer run the rammer and you will up that a little bit as well not not too much you know just less than 200 i think it is uh, but that's around 2600 dpm so not bad whatsoever the reload time with calibrated shells is just 5.89 seconds your penetration on the ap 229 and on your heat 288 uh, and again as it's got heat i would probably recommend running it with calibrated shells your hg also goes up to 72 which isn't bad um at all so you got 240 pen on the ap 200 uh, sorry 240 alpha on your ap 200 on your heat and 320 on your he aim time is very good at 2.5 and so is the gun dispersion at 0 0.290 uh, both of them are very very good 2.5 is insane now it also has 10 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour now because the aim time is already really really good you might instead of running the vertical stabilizer um you could even sort of that gives you 0.3 so if you don't run the v stabs then you're looking at a zero, zero uh, a 2.8 which is still really good aim time um and you might run it run it with the refined gun that makes your dispersion even better than it is 2.61 uh, which is very very good so i would personally run it with the refined gun uh so yeah overall you know I, i'm i'm very impressed with the tank i really am impressed with the tank I, I like it it is a shame that it is for crates it really really is uh but you know it's gonna come back and um, we've we i always say it, we've just got to get to grips like we've got to get over it uh yes we don't like it but crates are here and they're here to stay and they're going to be around probably uh for forever so it's just unfortunate but i just wish wargaming would change it up a bit you know like don't bring every tank into crates it doesn't need every tank every new tank come into crates it would just be nice and I, to be honest looking back i think one of the last tanks to come um straight for gold was uh the pajetto 40 uh, 46 which was weird because it's like wait hang on a minute we're all used to crates and all of a sudden this pajetto's in the store uh that we can buy it like for like nine ten thousand i think it was like ten thousand gold and wow okay uh so it would be nice to, you know it'd be nice to, to have that happen again instead of just crates 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 all the freaking time um and again tier 9 tier 10 okay i can understand like crate they they earn money and that is what people don't seem to understand when they moan about crates uh they earn money years ago years and years ago when the crates are sort of just sort of started coming into the game uh we went to tank fest there was a few of us that all went to tank fest and we had a meeting with wargaming and, and we said to them look wargaming why 
crates. Why are you sticking with crates? Why can't you just sell the tank outright? Surely you would earn more money if you just sell the tank outright because more people that don't agree with the crates will buy the tank. And they just nodded like, yeah, no, we earn, and they told us that we earn a lot more money selling crates than we would if we sold it outright. So from a business point of view, of course, selling crates uh, is, is an absolute must. But from a consumer point of view, our point of view, we don't want it. <coughs> it's costing us more money. It's costing the average player more money. Yes, you could be lucky uh, and get it for, for free. Not for free, but Wargaming always do these bundle crates, you know, where you buy two for the price of one and you can do it once. Uh, there are a lot of people that are able to get that. You know, I've done it a few times where I've got the crate in the first, uh, the tank in the first crate. Uh, but yeah, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to do that. Over time, of course, you buy enough of them. If you buy every single crate uh, crate tank, tank crate or whatever it is, uh, it, then eventually you are going to get one of them. But um, overall, there's only one winner. There is only one winner. Unless you just buy one crate forever and that's it and you get the tank, then yeah, you, you could be classed as a winner. But that's going to be highly unlikely. Uh, but you know it's a shame and it is a, it really is a shame because sometimes you do get these nice tanks and you think okay i just i really really want that tank you know people are out there for, and sometimes they're looking and they know these tanks from pc or stuff something like that you know they they there's a tank that they really really want but they won't buy crates and imagine if one of your favorite tanks ever like not in the game but like ever like comes into the game and you're like oh my god i've been waiting for wargaming to bring this tank into the game for nearly 10 years and they finally done it but yet it is in crates that's going to cost you over a hundred pound and you just cannot afford that it's frustrating it really really is frustrating so uh obviously I, I, whether i try I, I might try for the the, the the two for one crates which i always do because yeah if you do get it then you, you're getting uh you're getting a, a good tank for very very cheap but overall I, I would stay away from the crates honestly it's just wait because in maybe three months time or so it will come back and it will come back for gold uh, of course the first time round uh it will probably be for sale for like 15k gold maybe 12 but um you're probably looking at 15k gold uh with the camo and yeah the camo is okay i think it is a bit too much to be fair but uh the tank itself as i said at the beginning it is like playing a leopard it feels like playing a leopard uh in tier 10 like the tier 10 leopard is is now in tier 8 and of course everybody knows that i absolutely love the leopard the leopard one was my favorite tank in the game for like years uh no longer it is it's not no uh it's not my favorite tank in the game no more but it doesn't mean i don't like the tank i still think it's fantastic like i really really do like it uh so to be able to play something like the leopard down in tier 8 then of course like i'm going to enjoy it of course, you can't really rely on the armor of this thing. As I've showed you, 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 you can probably get the troll bounce, but it's not something that you're going to be able to, to rely on, especially when you do come up against those uh, tier nines. You're not going to perform very well uh, armor profile-wise. You're, you're just going to get ripped apart all the freaking time, um, just like we did there. So we managed to bounce 320 this game, so it's not all... Uh, dead you know you can still get the bounces but uh it's definitely a tank that i like it's definitely a tank that i'm going to enjoy when i eventually get it um yeah it's uh it's just one of those things it's we have to you know you just have to wait we just have to wait uh, but all gaming have said that in the past you know <coughs> of course you're going to pay for crates it's the rarity you know normally they come in crates which are quite a lot of money and then they come for gold that are quite a lot of money uh, or quite a few, quite a bit of gold. And then they do go down a little bit in price. But Wargaming have said before, like you're paying for the rarity of the tank. You know, if, if you want a tank, if you want to be one of the only ones to get the tank, then you're going to have to maybe spend money on them crates. But uh, I know a lot of you won't try. I know a lot of you will try, even though there's so many people out there that will say that they're not going to buy crates. Uh, there, there's a reason Wargaming keep doing crates. And that's because they're selling them. If they didn't sell them, they wouldn't do them. So if you want to completely stop by uh, selling crates, then just completely stop buying. And that's for everyone. Uh, but, you know, that's not going to stop. There's there's hundreds of thousands of players in the game. 
<coughs> excuse me uh yeah, it's not going to stop it really isn't going to stop we've just got to get you know get to grips that they, they they are here to stay and they will probably forever stay it's just it's just annoying uh, you know, a tank like this, I'd love for Wargaming. Even if it's 12,000 gold, like, I'd probably still pay for it because 12,000 gold with the camo, I, I still think is not a bad price for a brand new tier, tier 8 tank. And when it's a tank that I enjoy, and I look at these tanks thinking, I didn't used to back in the day, like, if there was a new tank, I'd get it. Like, I wanted to be one of the, the ones that have every single tank in the game, but I'm not like that no more, you know? I look at it and I'm thinking, right, before I, I spend money on this tank, am I going to play it? Now, I can actually say this tank, yes, if I get the tank, I would actually play. It, it feels fun to play. It feels like a good little tier 8 tank. Uh, it could do damage. The, the rate of fire, the DPM's all good. Um, and yes, definitely it is a tank that I would play so let me know your thoughts on the camp panzer rh spooky uh let me know if you've got it if you was a lucky one to get it in a few crates uh good luck so uh yep yeah, i'm meezy 69 hope you enjoyed today's video guys and i will see you all tomorrow bye bye